Two of the tests that we do at this stage are a single leg squat test to 45 degrees, and we do a test that we call a star excursion or a Y test. So Jane first is going to demonstrate the single leg squat test. Um, and first we would have her do her good leg or her non-operative leg. And she's going to squat to 45 degrees and come back up. And she's going to do that 10 times on her good leg. And you want to make sure that she's keeping her knee in line with the second toe, which means we don't want to see a lot of valgus occurring at the knee. We don't want to see her lose that control in the sagittal plane. We want to make sure the pelvis is staying level and that she can perform 10 squats in a row to 45 degrees. Leg, And then that's just to kind of warm her up and then she would stand on her operative leg and she needs to do 10 single leg squats, 45 degrees, that's perfect. Maintain that control, no excessive femoral internal rotation, no significant hip drop. Doing it in front of a mirror can be real helpful so she can see what she's doing and control that knee angle. All right, so if the patient can perform 10 single leg squats to 45 degrees, good control of the knee in the sagittal plane, she passes that test. The STAR excursion, or sometimes called the Y test, um, it's, a, it's a functional reaching test. We always want to start with the non-operative leg or the strong leg first. Um, so you can put some tape on the ground that looks like a Y with a line going straight, a line going 45 degrees lateral, and a line going 45 degrees medial. So she's going to start with a forward reach. She's going to be standing on her non-operative leg, and she's going to reach forward as far as she can. You want to maintain good control of the knee in the sagittal plane once again. And then we would measure how far her toe goes, and we'd measure to the nearest centimeter. What we don't want to see is we don't want to see the foot actually touch down. We don't want to see her lose balance and her hand touch down. And we want to make sure she's controlling that knee uh, without a lot of hip drop or femoral internal rotation. So we'd measure how far she could reach. And then we would test the same thing standing on her operative leg. A forward reach, good control, no touchdown. We'd measure the distance. And what we're looking for here is that she can reach within four centimeters of what her stronger leg or non-operative leg can do. So we don't want to see much more than a four centimeter difference. We would test forward, and then we would test what we call posterior medial on if she's doing her right leg, so she's standing on her strong leg. Now, Jane, we're gonna come more along this line right here. And once again, no touchdown, we'd measure that distance. That's posterior medial. And then we would do posterior medial on her left leg. So she'd stand on the left leg, go along that 45 degree angle, no touchdown, no loss of balance, control that knee, and we'd measure the difference. Once again, we're looking for a four centimeter or less of a difference comparing the good leg to the weaker leg. So then we do posterior lateral. So she'd stand on her right leg once again, and now she's gonna kind of reach behind and underneath, go as far as she can. You would measure that difference by putting a piece of tape or a line and then measuring the distance with a tape measure. So I'll just demonstrate that and then we would switch legs and do it again. So you could put a little mark here and then just take a tape measure and measure, see how far she's going. And we're looking for, once again, a four centimeter or less of a difference.